welcome to India today. Thank you. It's always exciting to hear from you. You know, I read this really interesting phrase the other day about you. Somebody in London had written a piece. Hmm. They said Karina Kapoor Khan is somebody who's often imitated but never duplicated. Hmm. There is only one Karina Kapoor. What do you make of this? Oh, no, I don't think that's. Um, I don't know. It's even I. I everybody keeps asking me this question, but I just don't know how to answer it because I just feel that. One should just be their own personality. One should at least just, you know, kind of be just the way they are. The reason is that because I think I'm just the way I am. And you've managed to stay that for yeah. over two decades Consistent. and <laughs> running, which is not easy. No, I mean, it's fine. It's, you have to keep also changing with each era, with each each year, learning, evolving, kind of trying to do, you know, you're making your choices braver, bolder, you know, something. Absolutely. Keep, keep, keep evolving as a person also so that then that also helps in your performances right and as we promote Lal Singh Chadda I know how much invested you're in every role that mm, you choose yeah. and you also say no to a lot of stuff that comes yeah. your way as an actor right mm. at this stage what excites you as an actor what are you hungry for what are you looking out for um, I think like I think the pandemic has changed everybody's thoughts you know like in terms of like films content cinema whatever they're watching so I, you know, it's changed my thought as well. So I want to also do something and work with people I've never worked with. You know, like now I'm working with Sujoy and Jaydeep and Vijay. It's a different project. It's they're different actors. I'm a different actor. So I want to do things that I've probably never done or worked with people I've never worked with. And that's you know the only way that will keep me also growing. Yeah. And that's going to be a conscious decision. And you have a very exciting slate. I yeah. mean, these are just few of the titles you've mentioned, mm. but all the roles are so diverse. Yeah, they and will all be. And for fans, it's a treat yeah. because we get to see you do different things. Yeah, yeah. Even in Lal Singh, Rupa is the one that's got the arc that's the, you know, yeah. grace, slightly more dark, slightly yeah. more like, um, like you don't know, more mysterious, just the way Jenny was in Forest. But it's a lot more emotional because you've also adapted it to Indian audiences in the Indian palette. Absolutely. And also what is interesting is your approach towards these films and these roles. You know, you keep getting asked this question. A lot of actresses keep getting asked this question. What happens after marriage? What happens after 40? Mm -hmm. What happens? Are there roles written for women? It's a question that women constantly get, mm -hmm. keep getting asked. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've also answered this in the past. But now I want to ask you, is that, does ageism still exist? Does sexism still exist? No, what I is think, your... I think only in social on social media, not actually in life. Because... It makes good topic and you're constantly like talking about it. You're constantly, you know, it gives a topic of discussion. People are writing articles, debates are happening and everything. But I mean, in the in the reality of situation is that we're still working. Everyone's getting their work. If you're talented, you'll get work. Yeah. If you're looking good, you'll get work. If you're, you know, being yourself, you'll get work. So you have to have the confidence in yourself also, you know. And today, I think everybody is doing great work. Yeah. Age is just a number. I mean, people are doing different, different characters. And you're as old as you look, you know. So I think that that's what you have to go by. I mean, it makes good copy to write things and say things and all that. But I think Twitter or in some platform may be good that this discussion is going on, that ageism, sexism, this is that. But your decisions should speak that. <clears throat> I mean, I'm still working. I've worked throughout my pregnancies. And people who have a problem with it don't take me... But the fact is that I've shot with Amir even when I was five and a half months pregnant. Yeah. Alia is still pregnant and working and continuing to work. So it's up to the person to break boundaries. You also have to kind of take and try and, you know, take up the challenge. You mentioned Twitter and I see you, uh, we get to see a glimpse of your life on Instagram. Yeah. You also share what you want to share. Yeah. There's a certain line I'm guessing you draw yeah. where you think, okay, this is too much. Uh, <laughs> you just had a sigh. I want to understand what is your take on cancel culture? Because social media is so quick to cancel films, cancel actors, say that yeah. rubbish film came out, it's not working. Of course, because so, now because the accessibility is there, today everyone has a voice. Today there are different platforms. I mean, everyone has an opinion. So now if that is going to be there, then you have to, but you have to learn to ignore certain things. Otherwise, then it will just become impossible to live your life. Yeah. And I, that's why I mean, I, I don't take any of this like seriously. I just post whatever I want to post. I... I don't, I don't take, I mean like, okay, everyone, I mean, you know, if, if it's a film and it's going to release, everyone will have their opinion. Yeah. So that's it. But the audiences and if it's a good film, I believe that it will surpass anything. Film has to be good for that. Yeah. 
there could be a reason why also people are you know talking about a particular film so i think that good films will surpass anything are you somebody who's very attached to a film even post release or on a friday you let go very easily what kind of an actor are you no i let go yeah i'm like a bird i fly and that's just the way to live life and i live my life like that i've never been also i've learned over the years not to be so attached every day is not going to be like wow 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 happiness happiness if there's happiness there's happiness to kitchen mein chalenge kitchen mein nahi chalenge so you have to also have the confidence and the courage to be a part of this profession absolutely it's not a bed of roses at all so what is your reaction when say a film doesn't do well like right now shamshira hasn't done well mm-hmm. every actor from the film is coming out and apologizing on twitter as if it's they're almost made to apologize you know the director has come out and written a note sanjay dutt came out and wrote a note uh, ranveer of course is not on social media yeah. but as somebody who's part of the family what do you think i mean i'm nobody to talk about a particular film because a i haven't seen the film b i have no uh, i think everyone operates differently everyone kind of treats and takes their film very differently and some people like i said are very attached some people are not so you know it's it's a very individualistic kind of thing mm-hmm. certain every actor operates and comes from a different area every director mm-hmm. does so you know i think to comment on that would be very wrong on my part mm-hmm. that's true and also interestingly you work with all the khans you keep getting this question and they are so possessive of you they speak so fondly of you whether it is shahrukh whether it is amir or whether it is salman in the making of this film because you and amir have not only delivered one of the biggest blockbusters yeah, yeah. of all time but the fact that he is so you know he's so he's so giving in terms of praising you in his interview mm-hmm. talking about you what did you discover about him in this film something different from before You no, know, Amir is nothing short of a thespian. I think. I think he's someone who's like, who's just been unbelievable. Someone whose gumption, whose bravery, whose dedication, whose craft has nothing. I mean, you know, you, you just have to salute it, because he's he truly comes from a different direction from mm-hmm. anyone else. Because the kind of, the kind of like, it's just a different high when you're working with Amir, because he's you know like he just wants from the light man to like you know, the person in art direction the person who's giving you chai the person who's making the chai the person who's doing it everybody has to be involved in the shot everybody has to know what's happening in the film you know so he just is his operandi is very different the way he operates and and no one really knows the real amir because i think he's never like from rakh to lal singh chadda you've never really seen amir khan on screen yeah you've just seen the character because that's just that's his dedication that's his the way he is i mean he's been the pioneer of playing characters i mean like you know today i mean even the young actors look up to amir khan because you know he's probably been that i mean he did rock in his 20s i yeah. think who would think of that way ahead of its time way ahead he did every film was way ahead of its time i mean today when you put on rangde basanti you're like oh my god you're like proud that it's you know a film from indian cinema yeah. so he's given that to cinema so i mean you know when he wants to do lal singh chadda and when he wants to play forest gump he's obviously has a reason for it i mean you know he's an um, actor for the last 40 years true and he wanted to adapt it in hindi and i think it's extremely brave of him to play this part knowing that it's such an iconic film and he has brought in his take to it right now obviously there will be comparisons yes. people will write that was my next question what do you have to say to those who will of course they have a field day people will go like ballistic because i mean it now but you've asked for it you're yeah. an iconic film but i truly believe that it's a wonderful film because we've adapted it brilliantly and it's something that you have to watch for the indian palate also because the, we have seen true lal singh chadda yes the classes have seen lal singh chadda people who can who watch english films have watched lal singh chadda i mean have watched forest gump but the masses have not seen right so for them it's a story that they're going to watch so right. everyone has to be given a chance right um you know you sort of wrote the bible and the dummies guide to sort of how to raise kids in the glaring eye of social media i mean when taimur made national headlines and mm. that was just the onset of social media yeah right now it's a different ball game yeah. all together it's yeah. become a, it's become something of its own and ranveer was asked this question recently now that he's embracing fatherhood and he said you know karina has done it so effortlessly when it comes to me i'll figure out yeah as a mother I don't want to say piece of advice, but what would you want to tell Alia, if at all, because she's going to be in that spot where you were a few years back. I mean, you know, I think that it's it's um, you have to just learn to live with 
it also i mean the more you try to each to its own also the more you try to kind of run away from it or control it or something i don't know I, and i don't even look i don't even think about it too much i'm just like yeah okay fine whatever take a picture take a picture just finish it off this don't bother me after calling you know it's like that but obviously i don't understand that what the reason is that why you know they would want to photograph him i mean my son today even asked me that why are they taking my picture absolutely and you guys are famous i'm not he understands that so i don't yeah. know why people don't yeah yeah because he's growing up now so. yeah he's like i'm not famous and i'm like yeah you're not i mean you know you have a long way to go you're just a kid so he knows that so people should know that Yeah, yeah, I think that's rightly put, and to each his own, like you mentioned in the beginning. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Another thing, obviously, that has sort of caught storm right now is Ranveer, and everybody is talking about that. You know, what has been your take on this? This strange I outrage, think, which yeah. is bizarre. Yeah, but I think that's what I'm saying. I'm. बोलने के लिए तो सबको बोलना है, and like I said, there's a ticket now, open ticket to everybody to start talking and having debates. Yeah. So. It's like to look at Might as well. Watch I think everyone has a lot of free time, also maybe because yeah. everybody has a take on everything. I don't know why it's such a big take, but like I said, that definitely just proves that we have a lot of free time on our hands. Absolutely, couldn't say that better. Yeah. When you see Alia and Jandi, all these girls make reels to your iconic dialogues. Yeah. How does it feel? Because truly, I mean, are you aware of the fact that your dialogues are yeah. the biggest hit <laughs> on every possible platform? But I don't know. I think that it's just that it's. they were iconic characters that obviously everyone feels and wants to portray and play you know so um, yeah it just feels nice but that's okay i don't take that too like seriously and finally i want to ask you you know your fan base is loyal loyal over all the years i haven't seen fans who have stayed through you through thick and thin to ups and downs through marriage and post that what do you make of that i mean that truly is some sort of a fan base but we are nothing without them we are nothing we, we are not the stars they are the real stars because this word stars now today has no value true i think we are just people that are loved by our fans they are the people that go and make us what we are and i know that my loyal fan base is there and i know that they're like really protecting me even when i was not on social media you know so like i know that and it's just there i think because they see they can see that i'm real and i'm trying my best to do balance family and films and everything and they kind of appreciate and love that yeah and i think they are in for a royal treat not just with lal singh chadda but your slate i think yeah, it looks fantastic yeah so joy and hansal and hopefully just trying to like i said evolve with the times that's that's the whole idea is that trying to choose content keep moving forward that's all i think you're going to set a new benchmark with these choices fingers crossed for that yeah. thank you so much karina for thank speaking you. to india today thank you